Imagine you're on the road watching your favorite movie or playing a game. Normally, you squint at the little screen, but now you can simply slip on a pair of glasses and be treated to an IMAX viewing experience anywhere you want. That's the magic of these smart glasses. And today we're comparing the glasses of two major players in the AR glasses realm, the Rocket Max versus the Enreal Air. They are the second generation smart glasses from these companies who promise to change how we consume media. Rocket Max, their fresher face, launched this year while the Enreal Air hit the UK market back in May 2022. This age gap might explain some significant differences. So we'll talk about design, comfort, visual quality, software compatibility, and more. I hope this video helps you make the most informed choice and now join me beyond reality. The Enreal Air sports a sleek black design that's got a wafer vibe to it. It's a bit larger compared to the Rocket Max, which comes in a distinctive blue and offers rounder, almost oval shaped glasses. The Rocket Max weighs in at 75 grams, while the Enreal Air is a few grams heavier at 79 grams. But hey, that's like comparing two feathers. Both are lightweight and designed for extended wear. The comfort depends heavily on the nose pads, with both models providing extras. Rocket includes one additional size, while Enreal includes two. I found the Rocket's pads to be instantly comfortable for me, whereas the Enreal's required some adjustment. However, when you find a good fit, either a model can be comfortably worn for a couple of hours. The Rokit's temples have a different spring hinge system that looks like a snucker fit around the head. So in terms of design, I personally lean towards the Enreal Air. What can I say, I love this wafer look. However, I find the Rogue Max to be more comfortable. But at the end of the day, comfort and design are subjective and largely depend on your head shape. So I think it's the visual quality that matters the most. So let's dive into the display. Both the Rogue Max and the Enreal Air use the birdbath optical solution. It pulls off an amazing mirror trick, bending and reflecting light within the module to deliver that AR experience. Now I'm using air quotes here because these glasses aren't really true AR, they're missing basic AR features like positional tracking, image tracking or plane detection, so I'd rather put them in the smart glasses or media consumption tool category. But this birdbath optical trick has three big advantages. It's lightweight, cost effective and delivers great image quality. Do they pull off the trick the same way though? Not really. Each has its own spin on the design. But you should give that like button a spin too if you enjoyed this video so far. Milky Way also appreciates it. In terms of resolution, both devices offer dual micro OLED screens at full HD per eye. And when it comes to colors, they're almost identical twins. Both provide beautiful colors and deep blacks. I almost don't see a difference here. But ghosting is a common issue with birdbath optics. It's like reading a book with glasses that have been smudged at the sides. It can be slightly uncomfortable if you're reading a lot, and both glasses have this a little bit, but it's more noticeable on the Enreal Air, especially at the edges of the screen. Could it be the difference in refresh rates? Because the Enreal Air runs at 60Hz, while the Rocket supports 120Hz. Or perhaps the Rocket simply uses a smoother magic trick in its optical stack. Regardless, when you're immersed in a movie or gaming session, the ghosting becomes a minor detail, barely worth a mention unless you use subtitles. When it comes to field of view, the Rocket etches out the Enreal Air by a smidge at 50 degrees compared to the Enreal Air's 46 degrees. And no, I'm not talking about temperature this time, I misspoke in my last video and I learned my lesson. Thanks for that. While the difference is small, it is noticeable when you place them side by side. To give you a better picture, the Rokit's maximum screen size is 215 inches, while the Enreal Air's looks like a 201 inch screen. And this is from a distance of 6 meters. It doesn't matter much since the screen size shrinks depending on what you use it for. The Rokit Max also outshines the Enreal Air, quite literally, with a maximum brightness of 600 nits compared to the Enreal Air's 400 nits. 
lights. This means you can see the rocket screen easily in normal house lighting, even without the blackout cover. With the Unreal Air, you might find yourself reaching for the light shield more often, although both brightness levels are more than enough at night and with the covers as well. If you're short-sighted, the rocket has diopter adjustments on the glasses from 0 to minus 6D. For anything beyond that, you're gonna need to add on prescription frames for an extra 15 bucks. The Enrio Air doesn't have diopter adjustment, but it comes with a prescription lens frame included. You will still need to buy your own prescription lenses though, which can be expensive by itself. So given all this, which display would you prefer? The Rokit? Well, hold your horses, we still have software differences to discuss. There are two ways to use these smart glasses. One is for mirroring, taking whatever is on your device and projecting it onto your eyes like a hovering external monitor. It's like having a personal theater that fits your pocket. This is fixed right in front of your eyes, following your gaze wherever you look, so you can't move the screen. But what if you want your digital screen to stay put while you look elsewhere? Well, you need to turn on 3 degrees of freedom tracking. Both glasses can actually do this, but only if you use the companion mobile apps. These apps are like little operating systems with their own stores, where you can download more apps that add functionality. Your phone transforms into a laser pointer that you use to navigate. Most of what you can do is launch websites so you can surf the net, scan through social media, or catch up on Netflix shows. Anything that you can do on a web browser you can do with this. You can also access and view your phone's photos and videos, or watch movies that you can transfer on your phone. Both glasses support 3D movies, which is a fun feature. Now, Enreal software called Nebula has more apps and features, like you can summon any app as a separate floating window, you can resize, relocate and anchor it anywhere in your visual field, and while web browsing, you get to choose from an array of layouts. You can even multitask, launch as many windows as your phone can handle, and arrange them however you like. It's like painting your digital life onto the canvas of the real world, and yes, this actually starts to feel like AR, which is really cool. Add to that a few unique features like a bagging app, letting you cycle through scenic landscapes without leaving leaving your house. And they're constantly updating. For example, Nebula for Windows is coming soon, promising to transform your annual air glasses into an ultra-wide 21 by 9 monitor. And I haven't even spoken about the best feature, Enreal software has head stabilization. So when you're browsing in Nebula, it's like you're looking at everything through a steady cam. It is a smooth and comfortable experience. Rokit's app, on the other hand, seems basic in comparison. It lacks stabilization, making the experience shaky. It's like being on a boat in choppy waters. Although you can move and anchor windows while using the web browsing app, and it does support voice control, it doesn't quite match Nebula's virality. Let me note here that stabilization isn't necessary when mirroring devices, for some reason that is stabilized already. Now you could download a few extra apps and games that are available on the Rocket store, but they are very basic, and how many there are depends on third-party developers. The same goes for Unreal, but they do seem to have a team dedicated to creating more software. Now, hardware is of course not easily replaced, but software can be updated through the air, so Rokit could still surprise us with software improvements. However, in this current state, Unreal takes the lead in the software department. One important thing to note is that these apps are only supported on certain phones. This is the case with both the Rokit and Unreal glasses, so be sure to check their websites to see which phones are supported. I'll link this below. If your phone is not on this list, you'll only be able to use the mirroring feature, so you'll miss out on the 3 dof experience where you can move and anchor apps. But it could be that you're not going to use this a lot anyways. I personally mostly use these glasses for gaming, which is an awesome feature because you basically turn your glasses into a portable IMAX screen for your gaming consoles. Imagine showing up to a LAN party without the hassle of lugging a monitor around, all you need is this thing. However, all these different consoles don't make it easy, let me help you understand. Both the Rokin Max and the Enreal Air support mirroring PCs, laptops and gaming consoles, anything with a video output. So whether you're a PS5, Xbox, Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch user, you're all covered. 
Just remember, you'll probably need an HDMI to USB-C adapter. Unreal has crafted its own tool for the job, the Unreal Adapter. This gadget has an HDMI and USB-C port for connecting with gaming consoles and even supports Apple's Lightning Digital AV Adapter for iPhone and iPad. It's an additional purchase at $59. Don't mix this up with Roku's wireless adapter though, that's designed for devices without a display port or HDMI output, allowing you to cast your screen to the Roku Max, if that device supports screen casting. For mirroring PCs and game consoles, you'll want Roku's recommended HDMI adapter available separately for $29. You can probably buy one from a different brand, but you run the risk of compatibility issues. Setting up with PS5 and Xbox is easy with both glasses. All you need is the respective adapter. Steam Deck users are in luck thanks to the device's USB-C connection with DisplayPort Alt Mode support. This means you can plug either pair of glasses into the USB-C port for instant compatibility. Just be aware that this might drain your battery quicker, but a Steam Deck dock can keep it charged, but then you will need the HDMI adapters. The Nintendo Switch setup is a bit more of a hassle. You need the adapter and it requires the Switch dock, which needs a power outlet and an HDMI cable making the setup bulkier and less portable. Rokit, however, brings in a little game changer here, the Rokit Hub. This plug-and-play accessory enables you to charge your switch and connect the glasses simultaneously without the dock. It trims down the setup considerably, making it a more portable option. Although it does add an extra $37 to your bill, but if you're a regular switch player, I highly recommend it. However, don't expect the Rokit Hub to play nice with the Unreal Air. Trust me, I've tried. That said, some crafty Unreal users on Reddit have found alternative solutions. While I haven't personally tested them, it's nice to see successful workarounds in the wild. The audio quality is good on both. Both pairs of glasses come equipped with dual speakers built right into the temples. And for those moments when you need to communicate, both come with dual microphones. Vogue does seem to be better at delivering richer lower tones and 3D sound effects, whereas Unreal Air appears to have an edge with louder high and mid tones. Both both models have impressive sound containment. I found myself immersed in a gaming session, seated next to my wife with the volume turned up comfortably and she doesn't hear a peep. It's again quite a magic trick. When it comes to battery life, it's a bit of your mileage may vary scenario as it largely depends on the device to which the glasses are tethered. And Ryu claims 5 hours of video streaming on a fully charged phone with a 4000 mAh battery. Rokit, while not explicitly stated, appears to be in the same ballpark in terms of performance, but let's be real, utilizing these glasses will inevitably sip more juice than without them, so you're probably gonna need a power bank on hand. As we wrap up, it's evident that both the Rokit Rokit Max and Unreal Air have their prospective pros and cons. The Rokit Max shines with better hardware, providing better clarity. However, when it comes to software, the Unreal Air takes the lead with its superior app and constant software updates. Price-wise, the Unreal Air comes in at a starting point of 379 US dollars, or 438 with the Unreal adapter included. On the other hand, the Rokin Max will set you back 439 dollars currently on sale for the glasses alone, and the cost can creep up to 468 with the HDMI adapter. Additional accessories can further escalate the price. When weighing this cost against features, it's not a straightforward comparison. The deciding factor should be the use case. If you're mostly going to be mirroring videos and playing games without the need to read much, then the Unreal Air is great value. The slight hardware differences won't significantly impact your viewing experience and you might enjoy the multitasking benefits. However, if you often rely on textual information or you want an easy, portable setup for your Nintendo Switch, the Roku Max is the better option. Yes, it might require additional investments for certain devices, but the improved ease of use and clarity might just be worth the extra for bucks. Go for the device that has the least cons for you. Let me know down below which one you've picked and why because I'm super curious. I'd also love to hear if you bought it, your review as that helps everybody. As for me, I'll be sticking with the Rokin Max mainly because I'm on an adventure with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and I use subtitles when gaming so this is amazing with it. But thank you so much for watching, I hope I helped you out. Please subscribe if it did because I'm always posting more XR content like this. And if you want to watch my full Rokin Max video, it's right over here. Special shout out to our champs, VR on, doei!